Hi everyone! Welcome to Mina's Day Vlogs once again. Sa mga kapwa ko Filipino, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ken, kadigitay padak nga Ilocano, na imbag nga aldaw yu amin apo. For today's video guys, I will be making everybody's favorite. It's baked macaroni. But for this one, I will not be using oven. So, if you want to find out how, let's start. Okay guys, so first, I will work on the macaroni. As you can see, the water is already hot. I will add a little bit of oil or mantika. And then a pinch of salt or a sin. And now I will put or add the elbow macaroni. Ilagay ko na po yung ating macaroni. And then I will make a quick mix. Haluin lang po natin ng kaunti. Okay, so there you go. It's boiling. And cook according to the package instruction. It's something around 30 to 45 minutes. And so, I will mix and check. Do not overcook, guys. So, it will look like this. After that, wash with cold water, drain it, and set aside for the meantime. And now, I will prepare the other ingredients. So, I will be needing onion, minced onion, and then I have here four cloves of garlic, minced, and I also have here red bell pepper. For this one, cut into small cubes. And then, I also have here some hot dogs. So guys, I am using the Filipino hot dog. For this one, you can just cut in uh, your desired size. And then next, I also have here thinly sliced ham. You can just cut like uh, how I did, so it will look like this. And now I'm ready. Here are the complete ingredients in making the meat sauce. Kompleto na po yung ating mga sahog. And so, let's begin guys. Let's make the sauce. So, I have here my wok in medium heat. I put oil. Just uh, wait for the oil to become hot. Painitin lang po natin yung ating mantika. And then, add the ground beef. Oh, I love that sound. Sizzling sound. So, even uh, the ground beef or ground pork, guys, I always wash it with water. Para siguradong malinis. Okay, so break into small pieces. And then, wait for the water to come out. Ayan po, nakikita po natin, lumalabas po yung tubig galing sa ating giniling na karne ng baka. Cook this in medium heat and it will take few minutes. Few minutes until the ground beef turns into brownish in color. And then, let the oil come out Hintayin po nating magmantika yung ating giniling na karne ng baka. And then, I will add the minced onion. Ito na po, nilagay ko pong una yung ating sibuyas. And then, mix, halu-haluin lang po natin. And then, isunod natin yung ating minced garlic. Mm, I can smell the aroma. So, saute this for a few minutes until the onion turns into translucent kind. 
Okay guys, so when the onion turns translucent, let's add the hot dogs. Of course, I need to mix para hindi po sila dumikit sa ating wok. Lalo na, hindi ako naglagay ng madaming mantika. Okay, and then next will be, I will also add the sliced ham. Sumunod po, ilalagay ko na po yung ating hiniwa-hiwa na ham. Or if you don't have ham, you can substitute it with uh, chorizo or sausages. Okay, so I'm mixing. Leave it or cook for a few minutes. And now guys, it's time to add the tomato sauce. Oh, there you go. So, I am using two small cans of tomato sauce. Again, mix. Pagkatapos pong ilagay yung ating tomato sauce, kailangan po nating haluin. Okay, so there you go. Next is, let's also add this uh, banana ketchup so i'm using filipino banana ketchup likewise mix to combine the ingredients halo halo in lang po natin ulit and i will leave this for a few minutes so that the beef will absorb the sauce and after maybe around five minutes i will add some water of course i need to flavor it with some beef cube so i put uh, almost more than half of the beef cube but i will add more later Okay, nilagay ko na po yung ating uh, beef cube and then mix. Now guys, let's cover it and simmer. After a few minutes, let's check. Oh, there you go. As you can see, not much water now. Medyo natuyo na po siya. Nag-evaporate na po yung ating tubig. Now, I can add the bell pepper. Oh, I love that sound. After putting the bell pepper, mix. Haluin lang po natin. And now, it's time to season. So, let's put some salt to taste. Maglagay po tayo ng asin and then yung ating freshly ground black pepper. So, I will mix this so that uh, the salt will melt. Tunawin po natin yung ating asin. Halo-haloin lang po natin. And then next, let's... Uh, add a little bit of sweetness so i am putting condensed milk but you can substitute it with sugar and now i will mix to incorporate the milk masarap po yung ating sauce kasi medyo manamis na mis po siya and lastly Let's add also some all-purpose cream. This is to thicken the sauce. And also, this uh, serves as a balancer. It will balance the sour taste of the tomato sauce. Ayan po. Naglagay po ako ng all-purpose cream. Kaya kita nyo naman, medyo nagiging malapot po siya. Oh, 
Okay, so after mixing, cook for maybe 5 minutes. And now guys, it's time to add the elbow macaroni. This is the cooked elbow macaroni, yung ating niluto kanina. So, I will mix very well. Make sure to coat the macaroni with the sauce. Oh, it looked nice. And I have here, guys, I am putting uh, some parmesan cheese, but this is optional. If you don't have, you can just use the cheddar cheese. Put a little bit grated. So, again, I will cook for a few minutes. I will allow the macaroni to absorb the sauce. And there you go, guys. I'm done. So, now, I have here my glass container. And I will transfer the macaroni. Tapos na po tayong magluto. Kaya, ilagay na po natin sa ating container. It's either glass or any bowl you have and then flatten it make it even like this and then spread on top some meat sauce uh, sorry guys i forgot to show that i uh, set aside some of the meat sauce earlier Alam nyo na po, kapag medyo nagkakaedad, nakakalimutan po yung mga iba. So, I will put like this. Make it even. Hmm, it looks yummy. And then, I have here the toppings. So, let's put. First on top will be my favorite. It's the mozzarella cheese. Mm, there you go. Spread all over. And next, I also have here four cheeses. Or this is the one in pack and it says they're Mexican cheese. So, I am not uh, using the usual cheese for toppings for baked macaroni. Just like the one uh, you, they are cooking. Because, I don't know, but Javi don't like that one. And he likes this one. And I'm glad because I don't have to cook anymore. This one is more easier. And lastly... I will sprinkle a little bit of dried parsley. Okay, so now it's ready. It's ready for, of course, it's not oven, but I will use microwave. Okay, so this is in high heat. I will microwave for maybe 8 minutes to 10 minutes and then after 8 minutes let's see oh there you go guys it's hot it's bubbling so this is my baked macaroni fresh from the microwave perfect look at that guys the cheese melts the way it should be it's not bad the color is perfect. So, this is my version of baked macaroni. Not in the oven, but in microwave. So, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. As you can see, it turned out delicious. So, I'm done again with another dish. Mahalo for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!